Hey, I'm Ray Rez, I'm with General Motors. I'm here to talk about our new Silverado 2014. The hood now is an aluminum. It cuts down on weight, gives us a little bit more uh, capacity. This happens to be a crew cab. Our, all of our chassis, whether it be two-door, extended cab, and or four-door, are gonna be front hinged. This is a couple advantages. Therefore, you can open up the rear door independently of the front door where we had a disadvantage we could not do that on our prior models, our 13s and prior two. We've increased the leg room two inches. You're gonna see a large area on the side panel for storage. There's an area here for real size water bottles if need be. There's two in the front on each side and there's one in the back on each side. As you come in and look at the dash, we have put the brake controller up on the dash high where the operator can get at it very easily without taking his eyes off the road. If you come in and look at our dash you will see our six gauges as well as a new instrument IP cluster that's highlighted with a center liquid uh, crystal display dead center on the top and what we've done is we've organized our HVAC radio controls so that they're all in one row. Below that, on the work truck series, you'll see a, some paddle switches. On this model, this controls the accessories. But in the work truck model, you'll be, there'll be an optional six buttons that you'll be able to toggle on and off. Three will be battery control or ignition controlled, will be turned on and off. And three will be straight off the battery. So you'll be, have the option to add accessories that you can turn on and off. This vehicle has an all-new frame, all-new powertrains. The transmission is a carryover, but our engine offerings are going to be a 4.3, a 5.3, and a 6.2. They all have variable valve timing. They all are direct injection. And they all also have, and a lot of people call it, displacement on demand. We have a rail protector that goes all the way around. This is standard on all our models. We also have an internal switch on the dash that you'll be able to control the in-box light as well as the rear light. In the past there was an adapter between the seven pin and the four pin. What we've done is we've incorporated both into the trailer hitch power. There's the four and there's the six. You open the tailgate and you drop it. This one didn't drop. Why? We have, this, we have a torsion bar that controls the drop rate as well as the lift effort. Only takes a couple of fingers to close the tailgate. This happens to be a cutaway of our 6.2 engine. And as I mentioned before, we have the active fuel management, direct injection, and continuous variable valve timing for the optimum performance, optimum fuel economy, and all around good emissions.